welcome back to another video. It's the first proper official video in the new art studio and unfortunately we're going, well fortunately and unfortunately, we're going through a massive heat wave here in the UK. I am sweating, it is very hot and if you're wondering why on earth am I wearing a jumper, well I've not managed to unpack any of my other painting clothes and this is the only thing I've got that I can get paint on and not actually be upset about. So. We are in a jumper, I'm sweating, we're going to get some videos filmed today and we're going to be doing some acrylic pours. Um, I'm still unpacking and doing things and so the next few weeks videos may be more of the quicker variety and I do apologise for that but I'd, I'd like to be still making consistent videos and releasing at least once a week and then eventually we'll get back to twice a week and a monthly vlog as well. So. Um, but that's the that's the idea. So for this video, I thought let's try something a bit different. You've seen me you've seen me pour acrylic coasters many a time. I've tried out different tiles. We've tried out different color combinations, and so I thought let's try something a little bit different. Now I have some fancy new storage. So you may have seen this um, bigger storage from me organizing some of my paints. Now you'll see in my studio tour, which will come probably maybe next month or the month after. I've changed where I want to put my paints. Um, thankfully, I didn't order about a gajillion of these for my art supplies because I don't need them. And so I've done these um, and used these for my coasters. So this has all my blank coasters, the big one, and then the small one has all of the cork backings that we back the coasters onto. So we are gonna be using, um, I think I'm gonna do a mixture of square and circle today. So maybe in this video, we'll do circle and see what we come out with. And I found this, Pantone postcard book in um, Fred Aldous in Manchester, it's an art shop and it's just a great way of having colour combinations and they're all Pantone colours so I will have to mix the colours maybe or find the nearest colour I have but they are just a number so it's kind of a weird flick through book as you can see there are different colour combinations um, on each postcard now I thought it'd be a great idea for me to flick through this, just land on whatever colour it comes up with, and that's the colour combination I use to make the coasters. So there's some really interesting ones, some really out there ones, like this is very strange colours. And we're just gonna see um, what we come up with and see what they look like in the end. Um, so let's get cracking. I'm gonna speed through a little bit of the mixing, but you've seen me mix up paint many a time. I use my flow troll as my pouring medium. I use a little bit of water, we get a nice, um, bouncy texture when we run a palette knife through the paint and that's basically the colours we're going to go for. We're not going to add any white or black as a base colour, it's whatever the four colours are in the postcard we choose and then let's let's just see what we come up with anyway. So let's get on to flicking through this and making the colours. Don't mind the state of my mat, I've not had time to clean it but let's flick through this Pantone colour palettes book and see what we come up with. I'm not gonna have a look at the sides because I'll be able to tell, but let's flick, 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 stop. Let's see what colors we are going to be doing. Ooh, lovely pink. Interesting, so we've got a nice white and then three tones of pink. So I think that should be pretty doable. It's quite tame actually, but I mean, the, the Pantone book has declared it is pretty in pink. So let's get on with making pretty in pink coasters.
So we have the colours here. It took me a little while to mix this one. I know it looks a bit off in the pot, but it's because it's not showing it. But that took a little bit of time to mix. I really had to mix all these colours. I actually substituted out the white for a parchment colour that I had in my Liquitex Basics because this was not a pure white so i thought more of a parchment a bit more yellowy because these pinks are slightly on the warmer side than the cooler side um, and i thought the parchment would tie that together a little bit better and looks a bit closer to that pantone and um, so let's just get on with pouring i'm going to move this pretty and pink up here so you can still see the reference i'm going to keep you at this angle for now um but we are going to be doing some circular posters. I did add some silicon oil to these so that hopefully um, we get some really nice selling going on. Okay, let's get some of these out. So these are sublimation coasters. You can get them on Amazon, you can get sets of them. I think they may have recently just gone up in price, but I'm not sure yet, I've not reordered. But we're just gonna do a nice set of four. Let's move these colors back here. And where'd I put them? Here we are. Let's put these cups upside down. I've not tested this table yet, so I hope it's flat. <laughs> um, okay, so let's get these coasters all set up. Now, I don't want to create any more colours. I really want these four colours to shine. And so I'm not going to drop them into these cups from height. We are going to be hoping to get those defined colours from the paw. Oh, this is a bit tough. There we go. Um, let's put that one there. Okay, let's bring you a little bit lower. There you go. So you can see the action a bit better. You can see all the colours. So I'm going to start off with white. We're going to do a base of this off-white colour. Now I am going to pour quite a lot of paint on these because I want to be able to manipulate and make sure the colours are what I'm wanting. And we're going to go this nice, really off um, light pink, off white pink next. And I think we're just going to do that pattern. So I'm going to time lapse through that and then we'll get to the pouring very shortly. All right, so I didn't do another round of all the colours, just that parchment colour. I kind of thought we'd have far too much paint and it's a waste of paint. So let's just do the first round, there should be enough in there of each and I seem to have poured them all pretty equal. So let's flip these over. So this is a dirty pour, not a dirty pour, a dirty pour, um, where you just mix it in the cup, flip it over and let it do its thing. Uh, like I say, I did in fact add some silicone oil so that we can get some lovely cells out of here, but the flow troll is also just as good at getting the cells. I'm just going to get my blowtorch ready for the final um, cell release. So that is ready. And I'm just going to move these colours back slightly. Okay, so let's pour the first one together real time. Okay. So as you can see, we have those colours. I'm just going to let that naturally flow off. I think I want less of this white here that we seem to have. I think this brushed white here is superb, the colour. Let's brush that off a little bit more. That there. I like that. That looks really good. Okay, I'm going to leave that to settle. I'm going to do these other three on time lapse and then we'll use the blowtorch, see what we can bring out, and I'll bring you in for a close up after that. All right, so they all pretty much reacted the same when I took off the cup, which kind of shows that I managed to get the quantities quite right. But I did tilt them ever so slightly differently. But we're just going to get some of this, these cells out, these really miniature cells I can see just surfacing. We'll get those out, see if they create anything else. I don't know if you can see from back there, all these little tiny bubbles just surfacing. But they're looking really nice. Those colours are wonderful. Now, in the 
grand scheme of things, when you do an acrylic pour, the colours mix. And so that really light pink that we had is going to be created when the white mixes with the, the mid pink anyway. So you kind of lose that pink that I created and you kind of only really pick up on, you know, the other hues. So uh, how effective it is, I'm not sure, but I'm really enjoying allowing that to just come up with our colour combo. I think I think it's really nice colour combo and I think it works. Um, so let me bring you in for a close up and we'll call it a day for this. I won't bore you with the rest of the drying process, the varnishing and everything. If you want to see any of that, just go back and watch some of my older coaster videos. But I thought it was really fun to try and replicate this pretty and pink colour scheme. And I think we've, you know, I think we've matched it fairly well. Maybe this pink could have been a bit more orangey. I don't know. Um, I definitely think we're missing that more orange hue, um, but it's, you know, pretty similar. I think we, we did a good job and I'm excited to try this again with this Pantone book. And if you do too, please hit that thumbs up, leave a comment down below what you think of this and whether you want me to continue making these videos and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.